Rich, uh, you are mentioning the word, and we'll have one more word that is the comparison form of the word rich is richer, rich, richer, yeah. rich, or wealthy, yeah. or wealthier, or the wealthiest. So, here, uh, after listening to your situation, I think that you want to use the comparison form of the word rich, but you forget the comparison form of the word rich. Okay, so please be careful when, when you are speaking. And the next one, desire, okay, you are aware of your, of, of the comparison, okay, of your parents uh, about you with other people, and, and, and how do you feel? How do you feel, and, and what should you do when your parents compare you with other people, guys? How do you feel, and what should uh, you do? Um, uh, when my parents compare me with um, others, um, I feel um, an an uncomfortable, yeah, and I can. It's very important to me because um, you because anyone live in live in the earth um is uh, is is the unique um character and is it um yeah and I think um each person just live in each life. Okay, so first, uh, on earth, on earth like this, on, <laughs> and we don't usually use the phrase on earth to talk about things happening at the moment. We just say that yeah. everyone who lives, okay, who lives, okay, who lives like this, who live in the same place, who live in the, in the same place like this, and here, uh, we we are not sure about what is going to happen, so we we only need to try our best, or we only need to try our, or we only need to make okay the best efforts, the best efforts to serve okay, to serve everything or everyone to get to our to get to our okay our destination of success. And the next one, you you yes. say something about your parents compare you. What are the people that the first feeling you have is scared, uh, is fear or scared or scared? And the second feeling you, you should have is the is your desire, your desire to prove to your parents that you can be better than than the other people. Just give you some some more time so you can prove yourself. So please remember the action verb prove. You are going to prove something to somebody like this. Like you are going to prove yourself to your parents that you can be more successful than your cousins or your relatives or your siblings, or you can prove uh, to the teachers that you can study better than your friends and you can give okay more more uh, more more ideas, invested situations than your friends, for example. So this is the way. Well, when you speak English and especially practicing IELTS speaking, you need to get more ideas. And if you don't have more ideas, you try to put all the vocabularies that you think of into, into the situation making. And this is the best way for you to boost your vocabularies and also boost your creativity. This is the only way that I... Okay, so, so let's yeah. go to uh, Minmin, please share with me. The desire to succeed and the fear you have when you try to do something. Um, so the fear, the biggest fear that I have when I do something that is, um, that is about myself. That do I do this really good or not? Because, um, uh, sometimes I be I hear someone saying about something, and about maybe about me, I I am got affected by by that speaking and it makes to my psychology maybe so that i cannot do as well as good as i as good as i can and i sometimes i want to have desires about i don't want to i don't want to think about it much and i don't care about anyone else about me what did they say about me and i can do whatever i want yeah okay so here it's like you are going to neglect or you are going to you are going to neglect 
neglect or you are going to ignore. Okay, neglect and ignore everything that all the people talk about you. It's like we are going to ignore all the negative, okay, all the negative sayings, okay, about about us or all the all the chit chats, okay, all the chit chit chats, or the chit chats about us because that because those 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 chit chit chats or those sayings are are not are not vital. Uh, so to to our developments. So here from your speaking, I guess that you want to use the word neglect or ignore, but you forget the word. And the second one, okay, you want to use the word like affect. Affect is a verb in English. So things affect you badly, or things affect you well, or things affect you horribly. So we have the way to use this word like a affect b or okay, get horribly or terribly or badly for something like this. So here, people are talking about me behind my back or people saying something behind my back. So here, please try to remember the words like people okay, talk about me behind, behind my back or they said something about me behind my back. So if they said something about you behind your back, those things are going to affect you horribly, no matter what you try, or or no, or no matter uh, no matter what you are going to face, you are going to be affected horribly. So please try to use the word "affect" in the right way, because from your speaking, man, I can see that, I can hear that you try to use the word "affect." Affect as a noun in English, and we don't have "affect" as a noun in English. We have the word like effect as a noun in English. It's like, okay, something have or something plays, okay, uh, bad effects on me. We have the word effect like this uh, in Vietnamese. We have the word like silantone. So something places bad effects on my studying because, uh, because of the noise of, uh, or, or because of uh, the interference, for example. So here are the words that I want you, you guys to pay attention to whenever you speak English. And affect here is an action verb in English. Do you guys remember any other words with the same meanings as the word affect? Like, like what? I'm looking for the synonyms. Synonyms, okay. Synonyms with, uh, with the word affect. What is the synonym for the word affect? Impact. Impact, impact. The first one. Anything else you guys? Influence. Yes, influence. The second one. So here, uh, my bad friends badly impacts me, or my bad business partners badly influence me. Impact, influence, affect. Okay are used as an action verb in English like this. Please try to remember. And if you want to use a noun in English, you need to remind yourself whenever you want to use a noun in English to, to, say, to talk about something, you have to have okay, an action verb before, before that noun. Like I have bad effects on something or I place bad effects on somebody, for example. Very good. And here, I mean, how do you feel? And what should you do when you find out that your friends talk about you behind your back? This is the situation, man. How do you feel? And what should you do when, when, when you find out that your friends are talking about you behind your back? Um, I think I will be with them as before, but I don't give them any trust or I will tell them any like, uh, I don't tell them any, any stories about everything. Yeah. So first, okay, you said you, you are saying that you will not, okay. I will get the moment of the idea uh, and let's break your English into pieces like this. You say that I will not, okay. I will not share okay anything else, anything else with my friends, with my friends anymore. I, I will not share anything else with my friends anymore. 
or you can think of a situation like this, you will, okay, I will not tell, I will not tell them about anything happening in my life, in my life right now, in my life, in my life at this moment, or go on, or you can say something like, I will, I will keep everything, I will keep everything about me in a secret because, okay, because I do not believe in, in my friends anymore, anymore, or, okay, or because, because they betray me, okay, please think of the word betray, they betray me very hard this time, or you can say that because they break my my heart because they break my heart or you can think of the situation like they break okay they break my trust they break my trust you trust your friend you share things with your friends but suddenly they okay they they they, they just okay they just make fun of your situation they just make fun of what you just share with them so you feel like you okay so you feel like you are betrayed by your friends so you can say that, oh, my friends break my heart. I'm not, I'm not, go, I'm not going to say anything to my friends again. I mean, you know, compared to the grammar of English when you are speaking, please be careful with the word tell, because we cannot say that I tell you and then stop. Don't stop after this, after the sentence I tell you. You need to share with me. You tell me about what? Okay, you need to make a full sentence. Tell somebody about what? But I will, know, I will not tell them about, about what? Uh, I will tell them and then I will stop telling them, but you need to make a full sentence, not like talking, not like saying, like something like this. Um, here, so, so after sharing, so what about that? What were you going to do if you find out that your friend is talking behind your back? Talking behind your back. Um, um, oh, uh, yeah. I usually don't care about that because um I have uh one vote um like that um we usually a uh, bad guy um uh, in their story. Okay, so it's like uh, you you say that. So I don't care. Go, go. It's a target. And usually we. Usually, we mentioned what goal or target when we want to talk about the near future, or we want to talk about something that we want to achieve at the present. Or, okay, in your situation, I can hear, I can get that. You want to say that you have a role, okay? I have one role, I have one role in my life, okay? Which is, you can begin with what, which is, okay? Which is, we always, okay, we always, we always have a bad player, a bad player in every, in every situation, in every situation. So here is the bit, this is, this is all the meanings that I get from, from your, from your speaking, from your speaking, from your sharing. So here, don't use yeah. the word because go for near future. Please use the word road. No. Mm. So what about uh, you? Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so right now, do you want to say anything more about this topic? People talking behind your back? Um, um, yeah, because uh, I think um, I don't, um, uh, yeah, it's that I don't care about um, this because um, because if you try to um try to explain or try to goof um you um you um you know that uh but um they but they all uh, but they keep um this um talk uh so uh i think they don't want to listen to you to goof your okay yeah so yeah uh, you say you were saying that if your friend keeps talking about those things, so you can say that your okay, those friends, those those friends, those friends don't deserve to to be your friends. You can say that those okay, those friends, 
who keep okay who keep talking behind your back okay behind your back does okay do not do not deserve to be your friends do not deserve to be your friends because they break they already break your trust and they keep doing the things they keep doing the wrong things again and again we have a structure like this okay somebody okay like they keep keep and verbally after the word keep keep doing the wrong thing keep doing the wrong thing the wrong things again and again just like this very good so let's move to this one quickly humans cannot depend on anyone to live the whole life so independent nature and survival skills are extremely vital in each person instincts okay like this one very good so here let's let's break down first we have the word like depend 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 on something depend as a verb in english you depend on something okay and then you have the word like uh the, the adjective of depend that is dependent you can say that you are dependent you are dependent on something and dependent is as an adjective in english i depend on my my feelings to make a decision whenever i feel insecure about work for example and you can say that i am dependent on my emotions when it comes to deciding something difficult and the, the only person that i can trust is myself for example depend and here you have one more adjective that is the end meaning of the word dependent on something we have the word like independent independent on something i feel i i feel like i, I am an independent person because because i am independent on on okay on anyone i just i just i just be dependent on myself so when you are independent it means that you don't depend on anyone so this is this is the way that we that we speak english we use from we use we use uh, words from action verbs to adjectives okay to make the uh, to make our sentences or our sayings sound different but the fact here is we still use the same words the same meanings but we just want to use different word forms so in situation b you can use action verb depend like this but in situation c you also want to use the action verb depend again but but you don't want to make your sentence sound boring with the repeated words so you are going to switch to the adjective dependent and if you don't want to say that i am dependent on this and i am not dependent on that so instead of using the not structure which is the negative form okay which is very basic so you can you can use something like the antonym of dependent is independent on so right now i want to listen to you guys okay uh giving me the situations in which i can hear you guys practicing the word depend dependent and independent so here let's start so it's going to speak first and minin is going to give me the situation after time uh, uh talk about what i want you to use three words in the situation depend dependent on and independent on um depend on uh, depend on. um depend on like um yeah uh, okay. things um children um children um is dependent children is dependent on their parents like that yeah and uh and others independent uh uh others cannot uh no cannot be independent on others others people to uh, live oh uh to live their whole life yes and then anything else please share 
and um um uh yeah and to make uh to make uh, um to um to make the good uh environment uh as cool is depend on your characteristic uh, your characteristic oh yeah yeah yes anything else it depends on no. <laughs> yeah no i just um yeah children is dependent on their parents yeah but children children is plural not in english so please be careful children cannot go with is children should go with are are oh, yeah children are are dependent on their parent so what about independent can you show me the situation with um adults cannot um cannot be um oh sorry <laughs> sorry um yeah sorry um uh yeah others must be independent um on others people people to live their whole life yeah yeah that's it yeah so let's move to Mimin. okay Mimin, please share with me situations making based on the plan dependent and independent um depends uh, okay so there is something that we cannot depend on anyone like to choose which good um can like for myself like i have to decide by myself and don't depend and don't it depend on anyone for the thing that's which school I I can going on in in a few years and uh um and that's about depends on And sometimes I am dependent on my on my friends too much because like sometimes my friends helping me to solve or to recite many things and I need to and I need to get that habit out of myself because uh, my life has to decide by myself. Mm, independent. Yeah, very good. So, what about independent? Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, so just uh, just think of the word independent. Like, uh, you don't want to depend on anyone or anything. You just want to 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 trust yourself, and everything should be about you and yourself, not about other people. It's like if you want to go, you just you just decide to go. You don't need any other any other people's decision or advice. And if you want to do something, you just okay. You just let it be. Let your instincts guide you. You don't let other people affect you. So that is called independent. It's like for example, I can give you the situation like I am independent on my okay. I am independent on my. On my uh, on my work, uh, which means when I decide to do something, I just listen to my own voice. Okay, my own voice. Okay, the voice inside me. I do not listen to uh, to myself. I do not listen to my business partners. Uh, also, I do not listen to my family or my or my friends, for example. So you are independent on what? And if you say you are independent on those things, it means you don't care and you don't give. Okay any attentions or any caring or any considerations about about other people's ideas so that is you being independent so right now so what about you mean can you share with me um okay so um when i do like math um my test um, my, my test math test at home to try my best um i usually listen to music 
because for music I can got inspiration or uh, or something that I can make it good. But I need to get a get the habit out myself because in my room when I when we are got a test room in, in the school, uh, we cannot just uh depend on that be, be depend on the music so i need to independent independent on the music and try to do it by myself and don't care about something in uh like um, um like in a silence room oh very good People usually say that very talented person comes from a silent world. I don't know the reason why, but that is true. Because whenever you want to do something big, you need to start from a very small step. And if you want to be, uh, and if you want to do something big, of course, you need to be by yourself for the very first time. Uh, of course, a uh, silent room, silent room or quiet room or silent places or quiet places are the, are the places where talented people come from the very first time in their life. Very good, very good phrase, man. Quiet places. And here, and here, are, okay, the, here is the word that I want you guys to pay attention to. It's the word instinct. Instinct. In here, the first one that the first word that we already go through depend on independent of okay, the second word that we just finished practicing the situations here instinct instinct is a very good word here don't don't confuse don't confuse the words okay instinct okay instinct is the noun in english with the word extinct this is the, the, the adjective in english for example you can say that um uh, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs are extinct, are extinct for, for decades, for decades. Ex extinct, it means disappear for such a long time, and there are no generations from those creatures anymore. So they use the word extinct. But the word extinct is like something deep down, okay, something deep inside your, your the body, something, okay, something like skills skills that you are born with. So if you are talking about the skills, okay, the skills, the skills, okay, like this one, the skills or abilities or abilities that you are, that you are born with, you will use what instinct. It's like uh, women have, women have very good instincts when it comes to their sixth sense, okay? Here is the situation. Yeah. Women, okay, women have, have excellent, excellent instincts, okay, instincts, instincts when it comes, okay, when it comes to their six senses, to their six sense like this. It's like, okay, they can, they, 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 they can feel what, 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 what will happen or they can feel, okay, they can sense what uh, okay what is the difference between you at the present and you get okay, from the past or you from the future some, something like this so that is called instinct and and it's, it's like oh uh, if you want to if you want to do something big or if you want to start your own business at the first time you have a very good instinct about your business it's like what you are going to face what kind of difficulties you are going to have and what kind of people you are going to meet so that is called the instinct inside you and those instincts are created, okay, in order to equip you to face any challenges you are going to deal with on the path of your development. That is called instinct. So right now, I want to listen to Min and Thai situations for the word instinct uh, here. Let's start, one, two, three. That is uh, one. Um, it's instinct, um, yeah, um, birth, birth learn to life, but first learn to life by instinct, uh, like that. Birds, birds learn to fly like, by instinct. By instinct. Oh, very good, I guess you can think of the animals instead of people right now, that unbelievable. Yeah, birds learn <laughs> to fly, okay, 
by their instincts. Instincts, yeah, just like this. Anything else you want to share about the birds? Uh, uh, human. Oh, no, 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 that, 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 that's good talking because, because we are practicing speaking English and brand mapping and looking at the structures, grammar, and vocabulary all together. So, so you cannot stop okay, by just one sentence. You need to give like two more backup ideas. If you want to talk about the birds learn to fly by adding things, you should say how they fly, fast or slow, and how do they stop, for example, just create more ideas in things of the birds. Um, um, parent, um, parents um, need to teach their offspring uh, a sub um, some survival skill uh, as the as a is a is a instinct an instinct oh as okay. an instinct right right oh very good so here parents need to teach their offspring offspring human men some survival skills such as instincts uh we we, we teach a oh, very good point here we teach when you teach you will teach what? You will teach people, okay? People, skills, you teach people abilities. But for instincts, you cannot teach people their instincts because what's, what's inside them is very hard for- <laughs> No, no, no. 